then my lovelies thank you so very much for joining me today i'm so happy you're here i hope you're all doing really well today's pick a card reading is their feelings plus their actions what actions are they going to take towards you how do they feel about you and this connection right now i will try and get as much information for you as i possibly can we'll look at the energies between you both so let's take a look at the groups i've got group number one group number two and group number three so take as much time as you need pause the video if you need more time to meditate on the groups there is no rush but listen to your inner voice listen to your intuition let it guide you as to which group will resonate with you today remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest please know that my readings do contain both light and shade that's not to cast shade but just to get the full picture of what is going on in your situation while you make your selection i will let you know that i've got two beautiful books available attract soulmate love and feminine frequency they're about calling love into your life or coming into right alignment with harmonious conscious relationship using feminine energy so if that is resonating with you do check that out you can find those details in the description box or over on my website lumiertarot.com but when you are ready and to make your selection then your timestamps are below this video hit your timestamp and i will see you in a moment hey my lovelies hope you're all doing really well this is your reading for everyone who picked group number one and this beautiful card um it says spirit guide all right so i feel like you're Angels and guides are really close to you at this time. You're surrounded by them. You're getting a lot of spiritual downloads. I really feel that your person is getting a lot of spiritual downloads about this connection. I feel like they're dreaming of you. I feel like you both have a very strong telepathic connection, a very strong connection in the 5D as well. So a lot of spiritual energy here. So, and this is the crystal that you chose as well with this blue celestite. Okay, so pop that there and we will Take a look, dive into some oracle cards and then we will jump into your tarot. Wow, that one just leapt out. This is an 11. So the numbers 11 or two may be a sign for you as well as white birds in this connection. It says rising above. So this is all about finding solutions. This is about getting clarity. So if it feels like things have been a little bit muddy, a little bit confusing, a little bit messy, right? Maybe there's been some chaos. This is a powerful, I'm hearing the word messenger as well, right? Spiritual messenger. So again, there's this sign that you are communicating a lot in the 5D, telepathically sending each other psychic messages, visiting each other in your dreamscape, all of this, but it also may be, excuse me, it may be a sign of uh, receiving a message from them after a period of quiet, a period of silence, um, perhaps even reaching out to a, with an apology if an apology is needed. So I see that here, but yeah, definitely a message coming in or something that's gonna bring a lot of hope, a lot of joy, and it's gonna bring clarity to your situation right now. There's a lot of blue here as well. You've chosen a blue crystal. You've got this one, which is blue. So there's kind of throat chakra type stuff here. So a lot of throat chakra energy. So I really feel like this is about kind of talking things through, getting things out in the open, speaking your truth, all of that. Okay, let's see what else is going on for you guys. <clears throat> it says receive with love and appreciation. This is a card 34, so 34 or 7 may be a sign for you. Snowflakes may be a sign for you. What else do we have on here? Peacock feathers as well. Uh, images of peacock feathers. So I see you being able to sort of, um, your person is opening their heart more to receive the love that you have to offer. Maybe they've been a little bit blocked, a little bit closed down. So there's like an issue of kind of receiving, receiving information, receiving wisdom, receiving those spiritual downloads and receiving the love that is on offer for you here as well. And on the bottom of the deck, you get true love. So I feel like there are definitely uh, genuine and authentic feelings of love, of emotion, like deep emotions in this connection. So let's see what else. I'm not going to pick that one because I haven't asked the question yet. I haven't started. I've got to line up with the energies. All right, let's find out what's going on in this connection for you. Oh, 
I feel like there have been some challenges in this connection, Taurus energy showing up here for you. Um, it may be that you've taken a step back from this or somebody, I feel like somebody here is, has walked away, has turned their back on this situation in order to maybe, because uh, they're curious about what else is out there, what else the world has to offer, or because they feel like it's the right thing to do is what I'm sensing. I feel like they've not been fair by you. There's something here where somebody in this connection has been behaved in a way that is outside of their integrity or has um, been a little bit unfair. There's an energy here of kind of being a little bit immature in the way that they have kind of dealt with this situation, right? This person may be younger than you, but I feel like someone, if this is your reading, someone has turned their back on this connection. Um, because of something that was quite painful, maybe a lie is what I'm hearing from spirit, you know, we had that throat chakra energy, uh, it could have been cheating, if that's the case, it's something that you already know about, um, let's see what else we've got, yeah, there's a lot of pain in this connection, I feel like there's an issue around commitment here. Maybe somebody didn't want to, in this connection, didn't want to commit, is what I'm seeing, or didn't want to talk about like the long-term potential of this connection, right? I also just feel like there's a lot of pain, I'm hearing the word misery, unhappiness, around, oh, for some of you, this is long distance, like the difficulties, the solutions that need to be found are about the kind of distance between you. So that could be like an emotional distance, but for some of you, it's physical distance because this is like a long distance or medium distance kind of connection, you know, different countries or different states, something like this. And that this, there's this energy of like, oh, well, maybe we should just leave it because it's too difficult, but you are still emotionally invested in one another and so it's kind of very painful to be apart, okay? If that's not your situation, then I'm just feeling like um, there's a lot of pain because there's been an ending. So I sense that this is, if this is your reading, there's been an ending here, some sort of conclusion, something that feels or feels like an ending or where you've agreed to sort of end this, but there's a lot of pain for somebody in this connection around that, okay? because we're getting the Three of Swords showing up. So um, somebody really in their feelings, somebody experiencing a lot of challenging emotions, difficulty, difficulty sleeping, uh, difficulty making sense of things is what I'm hearing from Spirit. Uh, wondering if this is over, wondering if it's over for good. Okay, let's find out what else is going on. They'd like an opportunity to work on this. This is how they're feeling right now. I feel like for some of them, they're burying their head in their work um, in order to try and take their mind off things. They feel very strongly towards you. They want to come towards you. They feel very passionate about you. I feel like there's a lot of sexual chemistry between you and your person. I'm going to jump into this deck, but I really feel like they want an opportunity with you to kind of work on this. To kind of develop this they feel like there are things that they should have done differently there are things that they would do differently now that they have um they kind of learned their lessons or gain more skills they're just like it's just like that energy of when you know better you do better and there's something about um the time that has passed or the experiences that they've had with you where they're just like oh if i have my time again i do things differently i'm better now Okay, I'm more grounded and better. I see Leo Sagittarius energy here as well. I'm hearing from Spirit that they want to move on from an indiscretion. So quite, uh, it's an interesting turn of phrase that I'm being given, but that's what they're saying, moving on from an indiscretion. So maybe they had some unfinished business with someone else or they chose somebody else over you. But what I'm hearing from Spirit very strongly is like, I want a chance to work on this. I want a chance to work on this with you. And they want to come towards you. 
And they're showing up with a, like a little bit of a player energy. So in the past they may have been a bit of a player or kind of not been 100% involved or 100% committed, but they're getting more serious. They're moving into this energy where they're more serious. Let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, they're so sure of you. They see your value. Maybe they didn't see it before. They're feeling quite anxious, like they've got some anxiety here, some kind of, it's like an underlying anxiety around this whole situation. But they see that you are the perfect 10. They see you as golden. They see you as somebody who could, who is relationship material. And they would like an opportunity for that, to pursue that, to develop that. They see you as very attractive, very beautiful. They're worried that they're not good enough for you. Okay, or that they wouldn't be able to make you happy. You've been working on yourself. You've had a big glow up. It's very beautiful. You're very magnetic right now. I feel like you're bringing a lot to you. You're receiving a lot. We had this energy of receiving at the beginning. You're receiving a lot right now. You've been working on yourself. <clears throat> Life has been difficult, but now you're moving into these times where you're flourishing. Okay, you're creating a beautiful future for yourself. I see a lot of money coming in for you as a result of your efforts, as a result of the positive changes that you've made. Okay, you're coming into your own, you're in your own power. There's some regret here from your person as well. Like you didn't deserve to have that happen to you, you didn't deserve to be treated in that way. You're just everything to them, that's what I'm seeing. That's too many. I feel like you are very much up in your head around this situation. You've got a lot that you want to say to this person, right? Because you've got so much on your mind. I feel like you. there's an energy here where you feel like you've been rejected by this person. Or, you, or they've made you feel not good enough, but it's just not the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth is what I'm hearing from spirit. So they've projected onto you their own feelings of unworthiness, their own feelings of lack. Okay, but the truth is they see you through this lens of being incredible, being amazing, being a really special person, right? They see you through that lens and perhaps you don't see yourself through that lens, but you should. You should, because that's the truth of the situation. So I feel like there's this energy where they've projected that onto you, their own feelings of lack. And now you're thinking, well, am I unworthy? Am I not good enough? Was it because I wasn't good enough? Was it because I wasn't enough for them? Was it because I didn't try hard enough? Should I have done something different? Should I look different? Should I get plastic surgery? Should I be um, slimmer or curvier or this or that, whatever it is, right? There's all these doubts around that and you're trying to get to the truth of it, okay? But the truth of it is that you are, everything that you bring to the table is more than enough. You're more than enough just as you are and that's what Spirit wants you to know about this connection. So you don't need to feel unworthy or not good enough or like you've been rejected, right? I feel like you're quite pragmatic, that you just, you understand about the complexity of life and you just like, I understand. There's this energy of just like, well... I see your point of view. I understand that maybe this is for the best. Right? And yet it doesn't feel good to you. Okay? It doesn't feel good to you. I see Aquarius, Libra energy, lots of Taurus energy, Libra's energy as well here. I feel like you're at a stalemate in this connection, that you've reached like a bit of a block. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like there's definitely going to be some alone time here, some time to reflect, some time to assimilate. Virgo's energy as well. Did I say that? I can't remember. Um, to assimilate like some of your experiences that you've had with this person. Somebody here feels invisible. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like somebody's really withdrawn back into their shell. Um, 
They may have ghosted you, gone no contact. I feel like somebody here feels invisible. That's the message that I'm getting. I don't know how that resonates for you, but that's what Spirit is saying to me, that they feel invisible. Okay, maybe because they've ghosted, like that kind of invisible ghost energy. Or just it could be that they want to be invisible, like they've gone under the radar is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else we have. They don't know what they want in love. They feel very confused around this connection, around what they want in love, what they want to commit to in life. So if they're showing up in a way that is very confusing for you, this is why they're thinking about the future and they're worrying about making the wrong decision, okay? Committing to a path or a journey in life, you know, looking too far ahead. Instead of looking two steps ahead, they're looking 10 or 20 steps ahead or 10 or 20 years ahead and they're sort of worrying about the future and just like, um, what if I make the wrong choice? What if this is... Uh, you know, not going to bring me the happiness that I want. So your person feels very muddled emotionally, very confused emotionally, and that's definitely going to be showing up in their behavior, is what I'm seeing here. So a lot of confusion around commitment and around kind of the future and thinking about the future. It may be the, the opposite, that they don't think about the future. But there is love here. I see a fresh start in love in this connection for you. I think it's really beautiful. I feel like they're cutting through a lot of this confusion in order to choose one. Out of many, they choose one. That's what I'm seeing here, to commit to. Right? So you get the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So I'm just feeling like out of many, you know, the many different options that they've been entertaining, that they've been thinking about, right? These can be romantic options or they could be sexual options or they could just be their options in life for what it is that they want to do out of all those options right that they've been thinking about that they've been mulling over that have kind of been in their energy frequency they're choosing one and that that one is you okay they want a chance with you you've got two aces in your reading very powerful ace of cups and ace of pentacles so definitely strong energy of a fresh start with this person a new beginning with this person wanting that opportunity to express love um to experience love with you all right Let's just draw some oracle cards, see what's going on. Hot and cold, yeah, that's, um, this is from the Myth and Fire Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. So this is that sign of that confusion that we were seeing. It's showing up in hot and cold behavior. Okay, but I feel like that hot and cold behavior is not making you feel very good um, about yourself in this situation. Okay, but you want to believe in yourself because you're a very special person. You're an amazing person. You've been through a lot and you've come out shining is what I'm hearing from Spirit. Yeah, desire. You've got a strong desire for this new fresh start. They've got a strong desire for you. That sexual chemistry is showing up here, but this desire to be with you, to pursue you, and to have that fresh start, that new beginning with you, and to choose you. All right, thank you so much for being with me today. That's everything that I have for you in this reading. I hope it has given you some clarity. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. It's been my honor to read your cards. If you want to find out more about this connection, I recommend getting a personal reading. Arenum are offering Lumia subscribers. Um, a $40 reading absolutely for free with the psychic of your choice. All the details of that deal are linked in the description box below this video. When you sign up with Arenum, they credit your account automatically with $40 to spend on the psychic reading of your choice so that you can get your mind, um, you know, your mind put to ease and get your questions answered, time scales and things like that that I can't offer you in a general reading. So do check out that amazing deal. It's linked below, but I'm sending you lots of love. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two and this beautiful card. It says travel, so this could be a long distance connection. Uh, somebody in this connection could be very well traveled. Maybe you're from different countries, different cultures, something like this. So, uh, but it's very beautiful and she's in this lovely boat, which is kind of like a gondola from Venice. So 
that may be signs for you, Venice may be a sign for you in this connection and then you also pick this beautiful blue appetite palm stone as well so uh yep i'll just put those there for you and we will jump in and find out how they feel about you and what actions they're going to take towards you in this connection that's too many let's uh, start off on the right foot i hope you're all doing really well thank you for being here with me Go the distance. So I feel like with this person, there is a lot of long-term potential in this connection with your person. This has got the. Uh, this is something. This is a connection that can really kind of stand the test of time, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Turquoise may also be a sign for you in this connection as well. The gemstone or some jewelry that may be significant to you. Let's see what else we have. Honesty. This is so nice. This is from the Ec Echo Soul Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks that I've designed for our community. So honesty. So I feel like this is a very grounded person, that they're very honest. There may be a need for kind of more openness, more authenticity in your communication in this connection. I'm hearing that somebody in this connection is really playing it cool. So there may be a need in this connection to kind of be a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more real, a little bit more honest um, in this situation. Let's see what else we have coming through for you this connection feels very grounded i feel like you're both very earthy maybe earth signs or that you're just there's something you're very well suited energetically to one another you complement each other very well you look like a good couple together you and this person people are like they see you as a couple i'm hearing for some of you you may even look like have such similar looks that you look like you could be brother and sister or sister and sister or whatever like you could be related in some way because you have like similar mm, physical attributes right or maybe you like to dress the same or something like this or maybe it's just like an energetic similarity that i'm picking up on it's interesting though you feel cute <laughs> you feel like you're like a cute couple or that you look cute together or that you look like a match made in heaven something like this let's see what else we have Oh, look. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is so powerful, right? This is the card that you get, and it says, I tried to run from our love, but our souls crave this magic. Yeah, it feels like a very genuine, beautiful, loving connection that you have with one another, which I think is really nice. Um, so it may be that your person tried to run away from this, tried to deny their feelings, tried to turn their back on this, okay, tried to push you away, self-sabotage it, whatever it is, you know, this kind of energy of kind of pushing you away. But your souls want to be together, your souls are calling to one another, okay, because there is this like uh, X factor to your connection, which they cannot find with anybody else and they never will find it with anybody else, right? This is the thing here, that's the magic. It's got the secret sauce. It's got that kind of uh, fairy dust sprinkled all over this. And it's because you guys are a match made in heaven. So their soul is craving your soul. Your souls are calling out to one another. Let's jump into your tarot in order to deepen this connection, in order to connect with one another. To have this experience, very soulful, magical beautiful experience i feel like it's balanced on every level in this connection like you know it's a meeting of minds there's friendship but also attraction as well that's what i'm seeing let's find out though let's go deeper and find out what's going on And I feel like they've asked you to be patient or you're being very patient with this person. I feel like there's been a breakdown in the communication here. I feel like they've said something or done something and you feel like they've been a bit mean to you, right, for some of you. I feel a little bit like that. 
I see Leo Sagittarius energy showing up here. I feel like there has been a bit of drama in this connection. Yeah, you are very well suited, but it doesn't mean it's all soulmates and rainbows. I do see that there's been a bit of drama here. I do feel like there's some kind of energy whereby you're letting go, like, this connection is a catalyst for you to kind of shed some layers of conditioning, of kind of beliefs that you've put upon yourself or that society has put on you, which is no longer serving you, okay, which is no longer benefiting you and which isn't authentic to you, which isn't the truth to you. So this is what I'm seeing. You're coming together, right, in order to be this catalyst to shed that, okay, so that you can come home to yourself, so that you can come back to your authentic nature, okay, so that you can come back to your soul's calling because it's such a soulful connection that you have with this person. So there is a kind of, through your meeting, there is a breaking down and that may look um, a little bit messy. It may look stressful. It may put you in a situation where you're just like, I don't know what's next or I don't know who I am now or I don't know what I'm meant to be doing, like a state of flux. It may put you in a state of flux in your life in general or in this connection, okay? Um, and there is this kind of assimilating process or this kind of waiting process of kind of waiting for things to, to line up or kind of an element of divine timing. But you know, there has been investment made in this connection on the part of your person. Again, there's an energy of travel of like the long distance uh, that this may be a long distance connection. For some of you, not for all of you, this may just have been a fling, which has really made like a really big impact on you, like a holiday romance or something like this, or something where you met someone when you were traveling or something like that, but this person has made a big impact on you and you aren't, you're unable to forget them, is what I'm hearing, okay? Let's see what else we've got. I see Virgo's energy, Scorpio energy showing up in your reading. That may resonate with you. In your situation, I feel like it's interesting. It's like they're not fully showing up for you is what I'm seeing. And there's something about this connection which feels quite heavy. It feels quite heavy. I feel like for some of you, you've agreed just to be friends or they've put you in the friend zone or someone in this connection has put the other in the friend zone, right? Um, and that's why it feels heavy because you're just like, I feel like there's more to this connection or I would like to explore more to this connection and I don't know whether this other person, the other party feels the same, right? Which is why there is this need for honesty. You may have been in each other's lives for a long time um, for some of you, but if not, it's, it's what I'm picking up on the soul level, like you've, um, even though you weren't physically apart, your souls were still connected to one another, so you, they may not have been in your 3D reality, but you've sort of always been energetically connected, is what I'm sensing here. I feel like there's an energy here where they want to reconnect with you, and there's something about that where they're kind of struggling with that. They're struggling with that desire or the ability to be able to do that, to connect with you. I definitely feel like this is soulmate energy or higher level soulmate energy that's showing up here. This is someone that you've been with in a past life. I feel like when you met this person, they've made a big impact on you. And it's because your souls are already connected. They made a big... Sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. I'm learning how to sit on the floor. <laughs> So that, um, I think it's healthier than sitting in a chair, but um, I can never quite find the right position. So yeah, let's see what else we've got. I see Leo's energy showing up really strongly here. They're very curious about what it is that you're doing. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like this connection is asking them to be more vulnerable. I feel like they've put up a bit of resistance to this connection. 
right? You may have had a fight with this person, some kind of disagreement, something like this. But I do feel like there's a strong kind of resistance because their soul is calling them to this connection. Their soul is calling them and it's like a soul invitation, right? Or, or a spiritual invitation. They've been invited to do this dance, to go on this journey, to be with you. Okay, but it's just like, can they open their heart to it? And I see them doing that. I see them being brave enough to open their heart to do that because they're so curious about where this connection will take them. They're curious about you, who you are, why you feel so familiar, why they're so drawn to you. Okay, so they're just like, they're drawn to you and as they're drawn to you, they open up more and more. Okay, this is some of the layers that are breaking down for them. Those kind of layers of, uh, oh, I've lost it, sorry, like putting up blocks or boundaries or putting up kind of like an armor layers of protection that's what's breaking down for them all the walls that they put up um against love what is that roomy quote our job is not to seek love but to break down the walls everything that we've built up against love or something like this let me know in the comments i want to hear what it is I have a vague uh, memory, but I'm going to jump into this deck, see what's going on for you. So yeah, there is, that's, they're kind of breaking down that kind of heart wall or anything that they've put up to protect themselves. That's their spiritual invitation in this connection with you. I see them messaging you as well, like wanting to reach out with a message. They've got something in particular that they want to say to you and they've got to be brave enough to be able to do that, to be honest, to be authentic. And something specific that they want to say. Oops. <clears throat> they know that they've got a decision to make and it's quite an important decision. I see Aries energy and Virgo's energy showing up for you. It's like you're at a crossroads. This could be your Divine Masculine who you're asking about today. I'm seeing that here. Your person has really seen the light. They've seen things in a new way, right? You've turned their world upside down, right? There was this kind of before they met you and then after they met you. And the person that they are after they met you is a different person. I think it's really inspired them to want to have a plan for the future, uh, to want to level up. to think about the future, to want to be their fullest expression and embodiment in this life. I think maybe you've introduced them to spirituality or something like this, or to the concept of the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Or just to kind of other ideas that they hadn't um, previously thought about. There's something here that in order to pursue this, and to kind of make this empowered decision, they're gonna to have to sacrifice something, they're gonna to have to make a sacrifice. And that could be like a 3D world sacrifice to do with something that they like, their friendship group or their family or something like this, that they would have to kind of leave that behind in order to pursue this, and they realize that. They're taking it seriously, is what I'm hearing from Spirit as well. They're taking it seriously. This decision is, it's very weighty, right? They're taking it really seriously. Okay, more Leo energy. So you could be both Leos, I see Pisces and, oh, this is interesting, um, <clears throat> Cancer energy as well showing up in your reading. I feel like there's a lot of destiny moving forward, like this is destined for you to be together. I feel like there are a lot of unknowns in this situation. There's a lot here about kind of facing your fears in order to move forward. So somebody in this connection is really facing their fears, becoming more honest, more open, right? In order to move forward. And it's just like, 
whatever it is that has held them back, when they face it, it isn't gonna be nearly as scary as they thought it was gonna be. So I see you making a lot of progress in this connection. I see your person being able to overcome any reticence that they have, any fear that they have around this connection, around being vulnerable, right? You know, this is quite triggering for them. Something in this connection has triggered them, but I see them really being able to kind of face their fears head on in a way that is very bold, right? And to be able to kind of wrestle with those two things, you know, the heart, I feel like the head wants one thing and is saying, oh, but this, but practicalities, but what about this? What will we do about this? What about the future? But the heart wants what the heart wants. And there's this wrestle between their head and their heart. But I feel like they're finding a way to navigate both of those things, all right? in order to offer you love, Libra Taurus energy showing up here, more Pisces energy as well. Okay, they want to explore this. There's a lot of like fun to be had between you in this connection to explore, uh, you know, flirtation. I see a lot of affection from your person that they're a very affectionate person. You share the same sense of humor. Okay, to explore this, to express love. This may be the first time that somebody in this connection has really felt true, genuine love and has been in love. And that is only gonna deepen, right? And we opened with Go The Distance. We're closing with The Empress, which is really a card of kind of the harvest and of kind of reaping those rewards and of, um, of going the distance. You know, when you put the effort in, when you put the time in, when you invest, pouring the heart into something, then you will be rewarded with something which is very rich, very fulfilling, very satisfying. Um, very enriching, okay? So a lot of powerful energies here, the moon strength, chariot, the empress, okay? There's a lot in this connection, which is your destiny, which is fated. Um, I really see them being able to, I think this is so powerful, I'm feeling it very strongly that they are able to um, face these triggers in a way that is very emotionally intelligent, which is very mature, is what I'm hearing. And just like making a lot of progress in this, making this strong decision, showing up in such an empowered way, making this strong decision in order to come towards you, all right? Okay, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards. I've loved it so very much. Let me know how it resonates down in the comments and let me know that Rumi quote, because I can't quite think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. If you want to find out more about this connection, timescales, getting your personal questions answered, then check out Arenum. They are offering Lumia subscribers $40 absolutely for free to spend on the psychic reading of your choice. Um, if you've not been over to Arenum uh, for a while, then they've had like a big revamp of their platform. So check that out. When you sign up, they automatically credit your account with $40 worth of credits to spend on the psychic reading of your choice so that you can put your mind at ease and have your questions answered. All right, that's all linked below, but I'm sending you lots of love. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Hey there, my lovelies. This is your reading for everyone who picked group number three and this beautiful card with blessings on it. So I feel like there's a lot to be grateful for in this connection, kind of counting your blessings. I feel like your person really sees you as a blessing in their life. Meeting you has been a blessing for them. We also see this beautiful full moon image. So this is really an indication that emotions are running very high. You're in the emotion ocean, that there is like a swell of emotion, a lot of intensity around this connection now. I'm also hearing from spirit that you have like a strong psychic connection here and that there may be triggers um, for you something here may be triggering you or your person so we will explore that this is the uh, group that um, if you chose group number three you chose this beautiful Amazonite uh, tower as well so let's just pop that there for you and I'll begin with some oracle cards see what's going on for you in this connection, what actions they're going to take towards you and how they feel about you. This is the Myth and Fire Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks that I've designed myself for our community. Rejection and protection. So it may be the case that someone in this situation feels like they've been rejected right now. Okay, there's an element of kind of feeling like they're out in the cold, not reject. I feel like it's like they're not rejecting you. Maybe they're rejecting the idea of something, the idea of this connection, right? Past lives. Yeah, this is a past life connection that you share with this person. I'm hearing old soul. So someone in this connection is really an old soul as well. So we feel like you've been together in many lifetimes. So there's something here where someone feels like they've been... Uh, pushed away or outcast or excluded from 
the kind of inner circle you get forgiveness on the bottom of the deck so there is a call a need for forgiveness in this situation I feel like if this person has rejected you it is no or rejected the idea of a connection with you a relationship with you it is no reflection on you this is something to do with their own energy field okay They want to protect you from their shadow aspects is what I'm hearing. Like they feel like they're not good for you in some way. This is just something that's showing up in their energy field. It may not necessarily be the truth or how you see it, but it is their own perception. There, It could be a distortion within them where they feel like they've got some shadow aspects of themselves and they feel like they need to protect you from that. And they may have felt like the best way to do that was to push you away, to self-sabotage, to... Um, uh, to reject the idea of this connection, something like this. I feel like you have a strong pull to, towards each other though with this past life. I feel like you have like a strong recognition. Your souls recognize each other. Let's see. Mm, I want to build my world around you. So the higher self really wants you. Like I was saying, your soul is calling to them and they cannot ignore that. You're like a siren to them. So they can, when they think about it, really see a future with you. You know, they know that you are um, relationship material. They know that you have emotional depth, emotional intelligence, that there's somebody that they could get on board with here. So we will explore this more, what it is that they are um, denying, right, in this connection, what it is about this connection that they are denying. What aspect of it? I feel like you're a very good person. You bring a lot of kind of goodness to them. They feel like you are a better person than they are. Like you're purer in some way. Like you have a purity or a goodness um, about you, around you, which they cannot match. They feel like they're in the shadows, is what I'm hearing from Spirit. I don't know how that resonates for you. Wow, someone in this connection, opening a reading with the lovers. And this is my favorite lovers card as well, out of all my decks, from the Fountain Tarot. Pisces energy, Gemini's energy showing up here. So someone in this connection is not listening to the messages that they've got, the messages that they are receiving from spirit around this connection. They're not listening, okay? So they may be trying to rely on logic or they're trying to rely on 3D world situations. They're looking at it from a purely analytical and logical way. And this is kind of very unhelpful because spirit is trying to connect with somebody in this um, in this relationship, in this situation, and bring spiritual understanding, spiritual downloads, you know, and to be guided by that intuition, and yet somebody is blocking that, somebody is really blocking this soul connection, so soulmate, higher level soulmate, or twin flame connection showing up here, and yet there is like a, a spiritual block to this, Again, past life energy showing up here. But this is far from over, is what I'm seeing from spirit. This is not something that they are, are, are done with. There is a lot more to this story, a lot more to be explored here. Okay, so I feel like any kind of blocks here are temporary. Any sort of rejection is uh, was like a, like a defense mechanism, is what I'm hearing. Right, but it isn't kind of the truth. Your souls do recognize each other. Let's see what else. They know that there is a lot of potential here. They know that there's a lot of beauty in this connection. But they're ignoring their intuition about the depth of this connection. I feel like sometimes your person feels defeated by their own emotions or like their limited understanding of this connection and what's going on. Yeah, more soulmate energy, Pisces energy showing up here really strongly, maybe dealing with a Scorpio in your situation. There's an inability or a lack of, I don't know what to say, there's just like, there's this energy whereby a decision hasn't been made, right, around this connection. 
A decision needs to be made, but it hasn't been made around this connection. I feel like there has been a little bit of stress, a little bit of push-pull between you, but you're trying to be very respectful of one another, is what I'm sensing as well. I feel like you're moving into calmer waters. This is what I'm hearing from spirit. You're moving into kind of calmer waters. What I'm hearing from spirit is things will be settled, right? However that um, shows up for you, however, whatever that means to you, things will be settled, um, is what I'm seeing here. I feel like there's been like this beautiful progression in the kind of depth of feeling and in the kind of emotional maturing of this, you know, of the energy and what it is that you share together, that that, that love is only growing deeper, that that understanding that you share with one another is only growing deeper. So it may have started out as a crush or a flirtation, but those feelings are really kind of developing. Let's see what else we have. I feel like this connection is really founded on a really beautiful friendship, which isn't really beautiful. Your souls really call to each other. You really like, I feel like you have like very similar interests in common or like opinions or like a vision of the world, like to do with religion or politics or um, ideals maybe, or morals or something like this, really align with one another. That's what I'm seeing in this connection. I feel like this love that they have for you is really, or the feelings that they have are really kind of taken them by surprise. They came, like, they came out of nowhere and sort of bit them in the bum a little bit, is what I'm seeing. They, maybe they weren't looking for anything, is what I'm seeing as well. They weren't looking for a relationship. They weren't looking for love. And yet, now here it is on their doorstep. And it's just like, what are they going to do about it? Yeah, your person is moving slowly. They are, I see Leo's energy here, Taurus energy as well. They are very drawn to you. It's like a moth to a flame. They want to come towards you kind of despite themselves, right? They may um, feel that perhaps it isn't a good idea. I sense that your person is very kind of pragmatic, very practical, right, in their life. They're kind of used to dealing with things on a very surface level, not listening to their intuition, not connecting spiritually to things or to other people in a spiritual way, okay? They feel more comfortable when things, you know, in the 3D, in the kind of everyday right? They feel more comfortable in that. And so this is why this connection is very confusing for them. It's very challenging for them because it has this beautiful spiritual dimension. They don't really understand what it is that they're experiencing here. And they prefer to really return to that kind of more mundane everydayness where they kind of know what it is that they're dealing with. Just wait one moment while I adjust. Uh, and get comfortable. So they find you very magnetic, very beautiful, very handsome, right? Just attractive. They want to be part of you. Just not just your physical appearance, but everything that you bring, right? You shine your light very brightly. You've got a lot going on. You may get a lot of attention from other people. Okay, you may shine your light very brightly. You may have like a strong social media following or something like this or kind of be raising yourself up, you know, people recognize you, or they kind of, you people are drawn to you, they want to talk to you, they want to find out what you're all about, what's going on with you, okay? I feel like you present yourself in a way that is, um, you like to make the most of yourself, you like to make the best of yourself, you like to play up your, um, you know, your good qualities, All right, this is what I'm seeing, and there's something here where they feel that you're very elevated and you're very empowered in a way that they're very drawn to, but in a way that is very different to them, right? So I see them coming towards you, but it's it's slowly and it's tentative because that's what they feel comfortable with, 
right? That's what they feel comfortable with. They've invested in you emotionally and spiritually. They're investing their time into you. They're being very considered, okay? There is this invitation to kind of rush things, to push things, to uh, get swept up in it all. They see that invitation. They feel that energy as well, but they feel more comfortable. Their comfort zone is very much like, let's just take it a step at a time and let's develop it and let's get to know each other, right? This is important for you to know. Spirit wants you to know that this is important for you to know, right? That this is what your person feels comfortable with. Otherwise, they're outside of their comfort zone. They're going to get triggered. What they're comfortable with is getting to know each other gradually, a step at a time, bit by bit letting things unfold. So they see you very clearly and they see you in a way and through a lens that other people don't see you, right? It may be the case that they know you better than you know yourself. I feel like this is a person who's very grounded, who's very considered. They wanna be very considered when it comes to this connection. I'm gonna jump into this deck and see what else. Five five or five 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 may be a sign for you here. Scorpio's energy showing up really strongly as well in your reading. So they feel it's just I feel like perhaps there's been a disagreement or an argument. Something here has ended. This connection may have ended. It may have ended with a fight. You know, you may have or some sort of disagreement or drama or not being able to get on the same page about this. They feel bad about how they've treated you they feel very bad about like they have some regrets about how they've shown up for you they want you to know look this isn't who I really am I was triggered this isn't who I really am they don't want you to have seen this shadow side of themselves okay they feel very ashamed is what I'm hearing from spirit for whatever has happened like the way that they've been behaving or maybe just like one specific thing for you you might have not even noticed that they've done this thing but for them it's like quite a big deal they feel a little bit sorry for themselves in some way i feel like this connection is going through a big transformation you know and that transformation is kind of working through some of these issues They feel like if they can't meet your needs, it's better to turn their back on this connection to walk away. That may be the issue here where they're kind of rejecting this connection a little bit. They feel like I'm not enough for group number three. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources, right? I'm not sure if I can meet their needs. I'm not sure what it is that you want or what your needs are. And so I want to, you know, they may turn their back on that until they've figured that out. So they are feeling very confused about this connection and confused in their feelings around this. They want to be enough for you. There's something here where they feel like you're, they, you're quite mysterious, right? They feel like you're quite mysterious. And they're like more, I don't know, pedestrian or everyday doesn't mean that that's the truth that that's just their perception of things right yeah I feel like this is you have all the ingredients here in this between you both to create something really magical and to create what it is that you want and desire it has all the potential for like a really long-term union with this person and I see that coming in I feel like there's an element of divine timing here right which I know you don't want to hear but when we relax into things and we we align with that naturally we align with that divine timing so if you're trying to manifest this person I really see you being really successful at that you get the magician that's a sign that you can manifest them I see that you have all the ingredients here for long term for a long term commitment for a marriage for a union right something like this something where you can um really go the distance with this person or really that your person is very grounded they do this is something that they want they do want a relationship they do want something 
um, which feels solid, okay, uh, which feels grounded, where they can create security, right, a home, a family, um, a business, a family business, this is what they want. So I feel like you're going full circle here, but I feel like there's going to be like, an element of divine timing. I feel like you're going to get into alignment with one another in a really beautiful way. I feel like they want to come towards you to commit to you in a way that could, you know, even uh, signify marriage. You may marry this person and that would be very successful for the long term. I definitely see that this person is marriage material and they see you as marriage material as well. So I do see you coming into alignment. I do see you getting on the same page. I do see a bit of divine intervention here. So if you're just like, I need to fix this. I need to sort all this out. I need to strategize. You don't. Spirit is going to help you to um, come into alignment here. All right. That's everything that I have for you in this reading. It has been my honor to read your cards as always. Um, I've loved it so very much. If you want to find out more about this connection, timings and things like this, to get your personal questions answered, then Arainum are offering Lumia subscribers $40 towards your first reading absolutely for free. If you sign up with Arainum, it's all linked in the description box below this video. But when you sign up, then you get $40 worth of credits um, on your account with Arainum straight away to spend on the psychic reading of your choice. Um, whoever you resonate with on the platform. All right, so do check that out if it resonates and you want to find out more about this connection. But I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you soon. Take care.